So as we get started today, this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point, just a look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Welcome back to the Crochet Kratos. That's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the Healing Stitches Afghan. This is designed by Jeannie in 2020 and it was a personal Afghan for her in order to get uh, through some situations. So it was meant for healing as we were going through the pandemic. So what we have here and the pandemic at this time is still going but uh, hopefully we're gonna see it end soon. So we have the instructions here and you'll notice that it is actually three pages long. And this is the most request tutorial of them all and it takes you all the way to round number 54 in the end. So what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna try a new technique and hopefully it works and if not we're gonna try it anyway. So usually in something like this is that I would teach it and I would do the entire blanket like that. So basically I'm actually crocheting the real sample on board. That's how I do these things. What I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is that because it's a, a square, every side is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how to start a side, how to go through the side and then how to turn and then that's all I'm going to do. So I'm gonna do that for each round. So in my sample that you'll see coming out in this tutorial from what I envision for it because I've never done this before is that you'll only see like a, a, a slice like this of the afghan itself. So and that's okay because most of you once you understand the repeat pattern you can just reverse back and the video chapters will be able to help you with that. The other thing I'm going to do is that I'm not gonna change color. So if you'd like to change color as what Jeannie suggests, you can see with A, that's the color A, that's bluebell and then when you see the new color here, it, that's the next color and etc. So you can change the colors as often or as little as you wish. I am using Karen One Pound yarn today. The color will be I'm looking at is called Lace and it's uh, this color here and I'll be demonstrating with that using a six millimeter size J crochet hook. So without further ado we're just gonna get ourselves started and we're gonna do rounds number one through ten today and then the next video next time I get through this uh, more is that we'll keep on progressing until we're done this particular one. So today is one through ten. So let's begin with round number one. We're going to create a slip knot and put it on. I would classify this as an intermediate level project. So what we have here is that we're going to chain two, one and two and in second chain from the hook we're gonna do as follows. So we need to create the four sides. So second chain from the hook you're going to single crochet and then chain two and then single crochet again. That's the next side and then chain two. The chain twos are the corner and then coming back in, single crochet, chain two and then coming back in. And then to finish this off, what we have here is gonna be a half double crochet uh, that is used to join. So this is a, a technique that Jeannie loves and I love it too to be honest with you. So what we wanna do instead of chaining two and coming to the first stitch, you are just going to half double crochet and go to the first stitch the first single crochet and join it. And what this does is that it puts you right exactly in the corner so it prevents the spin of the center of the afghan. So let's move on now to round number two. So round number two, so you're gonna chain three which will always count as a double crochet when you go to start one of these and that half double crochet that you did that is considered the space. So the post when you go around it that is considered the, the space. So it says one sing, a double crochet around the same space that's around that double crochet or half double crochet post. So now it states to put in a double crochet in the next stitch which is the only stitch on this side and then we're gonna turn the corner. So the chain two is next. So the corners in this particular round is two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Okay and then you have a next stitch that's the middle of the side and then you got a new corner again. So chain or two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So do you see why I can only do a pie slice? Because it's all the same each side so every side is identical. So just putting a double crochet in the next single there. Here's your corner again. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet.
and then finally the last single crochet is here. And so when we start these ideas starting in the corner, we always have to finish the corner. So when we finish, we're going to just place in two double crochet and joining it like it suggests. Okay, so that's the half double crochet to the beginning single or to the beginning stitch and that will to the beginning stitch which is, which is the top of the chain three and that half double crochet join is the new corner and that was round number two. So let's begin round number three. Okay, so let's start now going and just do the pie slice. So you'll do the same thing on each side. So when you start one of these on, on this round, you're going to chain one and you'll single crochet into the same space. And when you come back around and finish it, you'll single crochet back into that space and then you'll join it with a half double crochet over. So in this round here, round number three is just one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across to the next corner. And then as I mentioned, the corners will be a single crochet, chain two and single crochet. So you'll do that all the way around. And so coming around to the end of round number three, so you'll have, will have gone all the way around. I'm gonna assume that going forward so I don't have to tell you each time. So in the very last corner where you started just single crochet and then just join it to the first single crochet with the half double crochet join. And that was row number, and that was round number three. Let's begin round number four. Right where we're sitting, we are going to just chain one and this will not count as a stitch. So in the same corner, you are going to apply a half double crochet. So in the corners in this particular round it will be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. So moving right along, we are then just going to continue and it says one double crochet in the next and then the repeating is going to start so what we're going to do is that we're going to do a front post um, down here. So what we're going to do is a, a one double crochet front post two below. Just like that and that says it skips the stitch that is directly behind it. So this one here normally would be a stitch but it's sitting in front. So now we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. And you're gonna continue that all the way to the next corner. So the next one has to jump down. So just come down two rows and you'll be skipping the next one when you're down here. So you'll be going over. And remember that counts as the stitch that it's sitting in front of. So you'll double crochet the next. And then finally jumping down. So skipping the next one here and jump down. So it's basically every other stitch is this front post double crochet. So in the very last stitch here you're going to double crochet before the corner and then in the corner as I mentioned it's one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. And you're going to then continue to do that around. So the first one just re as a recap is one double crochet and then the next one is gonna be coming down which counts as a stitch that it's in front of and then the next one is going to be a double crochet and you'll continue with what you just learned already on this first side. So please go around. I'll meet you at the end of this round which is round number four. So it's coming all the way around on number four. You're just doing the pattern as you know it and it's a double crochet in the last one before the corner and then you have to finish this first corner. So it's a half double crochet and then you're going to join it with the half double crochet join to the first half double crochet. <laughs> okay. And that was row, uh, round number four. In round number five, let's begin and you're going to chain one and you'll do a single crochet into the corner. So the corners on this round number five is going to be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. In this one here, we have to pay attention all the way to um, the beginning here. Now it appears that there's two stitches here. There's not. Remember that that was a chain one. Don't count that as a stitch because it's not. So the very first single crochet is right into this half double crochet that is in the corner. And all you're just going to do on this round is basically slam in a single crochet in each of the stitches going across and then the corners as I mentioned is one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So please before I come all the way around, this is where you'll lose a stitch if you're not if you're new to crochet or you're not as experienced. The first stitch is right here 
Now when you're coming around it will appear like it's here but it's actually here. So just before this half double crochet that's your first stitch. Okay so there's your single crochet and then you keep on moving on. Okay so don't miss that. Usually when people uh, mess up on their counts it's usually a half double crochet and that causes that. So now I'll technically see at the end of round number five in just a moment. So coming around and you're going to put in a single crochet in the last corner and then you're going to join it with the half double crochet join to the first single crochet and that completed round number five. Let's move on to round number six. Let's begin round number six. You have to watch it. So the very start of a side is a little unique because there's an odd number count and we're using an even number repeat. So as we begin we're going to chain three. So there's your first double crochet and then you'll double crochet back into the same spot. So as you start each side that you have you wanna just pay attention to this and you wanna make sure that there's one double crochet that will sit by itself before you start. And now you're going to start the crisscross. So reaching to the second one over double crochet and then reaching to the one back okay right here you are just going to just lean it forward and just access it from behind and if you wanna do it from the front if it's easier for you then do it from the front just be consistent and then just double crochet that skip stitch. So you'll crisscross all the way to the corner. So skip in the next one and you'll double crochet and then coming to the one skipped. I find it's easier just to shift it forward. Okay and you'll do this all the way across the side. And this will take you to the very last stitch which is right here. So you're gonna crisscross back. And so that's why you did that solo double crochet on its own. So now the corner is next and you'll put in your two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And just remember when you start around the first stitch out right here has to be one double crochet by itself and then you start crisscrossing from that moment right to the next corner and then keep on moving. So I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number six. So I'm coming to the end of number six. Just pretend I've gone all the way around. Sorry I didn't mean to say that. That's assumed. And then in your very last corner here where you started you'll apply two double crochet and then do the half double crochet join to finish off round number six. So you can really start seeing the texture turning out really quite lovely. So let's now move on to round number seven. In round number seven we're going to start up and you're going to just chain a total of three. So there's your first double crochet and you are going to apply another double crochet in there and then you'll, the corners in this round are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So this is an easy one. You'll just put in one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the next corner and then you'll turn your corners of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. I'll meet you at the end of this round. This is round number seven. I'm coming up to the end of round number seven. So you're just double crocheting all the way around and then eventually you'll hit that final corner which is where you started. So you'll apply your two double crochet and then just join it to the top of the beginning with the half double crochet join. So let's do that and let's start round number eight. Let's begin round number eight, chain one and you'll do a single crochet into the same corner. Okay and then what you're just going to do is that you'll single crochet in each stitch all the way to the next corner. So the corners on this particular round are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and you'll do that all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end of this round and this is number eight. When you come around on number eight you'll come across and you'll single crochet right into the corner and then join it to the first single crochet with the half double crochet join. So let's now begin round number nine. Now round number nine is very similar to what we did when we jumped down into the stitch work below with these front post double crochets. So we're gonna be doing that here on round number nine. So let's begin. We're gonna chain one and that will not count as a stitch. It helps if you only grab the one strand. <laughs> so chain one doesn't count as a stitch and you are going to half double crochet into the same corner. 
So on the corners on this particular one round number nine what we have here it will be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. So you're going to then double crochet into the next one. I don't know why I'm stalling but we'll double crochet into the next one and then you're going to jump down and start with coming down once again. So when we do that we're going to do a front post double crochet down and that counts as a stitch that it's sitting in front of and then you'll double crochet the next one and you'll keep doing that all the way across. So when you jump down you just gotta skip one down here and go to the second over and then that counts as the one in front. So you may not need to turn it up and check it. You may be able to figure it out on your own without having to do that. So you just keep jumping down and then jump back up and you're doing that all the way across this row. So this is row number nine and what I'm going to do is I'll be right back in a second and we'll just get yourself to the turning corner once again. So I'm coming all the way across. So the very last one before the corner will be a jump down and that's just a matter of keeping within the same stitch count and so the very last stitch before the corner is one double crochet. Now the corners as we mentioned is going to be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet and then you're just gonna immediately start all over again. So starting in the very first stitch you'll double crochet and then the next one has to be a jump down. So front post double crochet and that counts as the one that's sitting in front of so you'll double crochet the next one and etc. So please do this all the way around for round number nine. I'll be back in just a moment. So when you get back around to number nine you're just going to apply one half double crochet into the corner and because the first one's already there and you're just going to join it with the half double crochet join. So now let's move on to round number 10. Final round for today's tutorial then for this uh, section for rounds one through 10 is just chain up one and it's one single crochet into the same corner. Corners on this round will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet once you start hitting the rest of them. So you're just going to apply one single crochet around in each stitch and the corners again. One single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. I'll see you at the end of this round. This is number 10 and we'll just conclude for today. So coming around on round number 10 to the first corner to where you started. Eventually the sample will get so big that you won't even know I'm doing a slice. <laughs> so it's uh, just one single crochet in the last one and then you're just gonna do a half double crochet join and that concludes then round number 10. So this is where I'm gonna leave this tutorial today. I find bigger blankets like this are are better done in a smaller tutorial sample like this and then you can move on to the next um, particular one when it's ready. You'll see a playlist information in the video description so as the videos become available you'll see those also linked into that section. So let's see it later and this is the Healing Stitches Afghan by Jeannie.